Obviously, uh, the outdoor activities can take many forms. You can have the uh, simple version, a, a bivy bag. You can have a bit more elaborate, the tent. Or you could have one of these luxury mink campers. And I'm with Steve from uh, River Motorhomes, who is the UK distributor for these gorgeous little units. Uh, and it's got a sunroof and all sorts of exciting things. So Steve, good, good morning to you. Morning. This looks really gorgeous. Yeah, it's really, uh, really nice, very popular really lots of interest in the in the uh in the in the vehicle itself it's yeah it's really good okay just talk me through the some of the features before we go on to the prices because i'm sure that's what people want to know about okay well pretty much one of the main features is the comfort of it the 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 bed is so comfortable it's really long we've had people in here six foot seven six foot eight and they can lie down absolutely no problem whatsoever um obviously the uh the panoramic roof is a is a great feature uh, we've got it has a diesel heater that takes 12 liters and that will last 360 hours on the on the heater so in this climate you know you're not going to use that that's going to last you a long time so um obviously it's electric it's it, it, as it as in it's got a uh, habitation battery and um yeah it's 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 good it's also got hookup so you can you can use 240 as well Fantastic. Well, I mean, it looks really durable. It's like this is the the off-road version. Did you say it was this or the durable one? Yeah, this one is the off-road version. It's just slightly raised slightly higher and it's got bigger tires on. Um, that's the only difference really between the off-roader and the and the standard yellow version. Um, yeah, it's uh, basically any any anywhere your car will go, this will go, or anywhere your four x four will go, this will go. The other one anywhere your car will go, that will go too. So it's uh, it's good. Fantastic. So inside the sort of pod section here, we've got obviously, as you say, a very, very long bed. So suitable for people who are what, six foot six, six foot so seven, if yeah, anything like foot, that. Six foot eight. I mean, we've had, yeah. we've had lots. Of, we had three, uh, three squaddies in from the uh, army stand yesterday, all nice and comfy, <laughs> wishing they had them on manoeuvres. Oh, I bet, I bet better than a bivy bag. Yeah. So um, is that shelf there capable of taking a small child? That will take up to 60 kilograms, yeah, so a small child, yeah. And in fact, our colleague Beck has been on there and it Put up with her so i'm sure we put up with a small child okay and what and what's the width of that or length do you know um not off the top of my head but uh it's it's high footish something yeah, like that around about that yeah yeah fantastic so yeah you've got this obviously as a sleeping area now presumably yeah. the little hatch at the back there is, a, is a, the cooking area yeah, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a utilization area basically it's got a it's got an ice box stroke sink in there which allows you to um keep your your uh, your wine or beer chilled uh, it's got a storage area for food it's got plug sockets it comes with a little gas cooker um so yeah it also comes with a room at the back as in a tent um oh, okay. so you get a you get a really big room at the back you've got an awning at the side which comes down to the ground which allows for a little bit of um uh, a little bit of privacy when you're getting out of the vehicle right so so basically then you with that comes with it is a is a once you've rocked up to the campsite yeah. you can pull out the awning set yourself up and set yourself up yeah. so you've got a dry area to do That's, the cooking yeah, or whatever absolutely you've got a room it, it can be used as a room to, to sleep in as well it's a two two by three meters i think that room oh, is that's plenty of space so, yeah, yeah yeah plenty of space um, and that's obviously that that's coming in the show offer you get that for free and you right. get the awning for free um or inclusive in the price so yeah fantastic so i mean the two main questions then really and i'm sure you've been asked this quite a lot uh, this weekend is what do you need to tow it how big a vehicle because well, well, the beauty of it is if you can put a tow bar on your vehicle you can tow this it's it's just over 500 um kilograms uh so anything will pull it if you, if you can put a tow bar on it it will pull it all right, so you're not limited to having to buy yourself a big 4x4? Four four, no, though. not at all. Okay, fantastic. And then uh, the second question has to be price range. Okay, we're well, starting the show offer starting at 21,000 for the for the, the yellow version. The um, And then for the off-road, that's an additional 1,700 pounds. And for the all-electric, that's around um, about 24 and a half. Brilliant, brilliant. And have you had a good show? Good, uh, yeah, lots of inquiries? We've had lots of inquiries. We've made some sales. Um, yeah, I mean, basically, wherever we go, we do sell them. We, they sell themselves, you know, when yeah, people see them yeah, and people yeah. get in them. We encourage everybody to get in, have a lie down, shut the door, realise how quiet it is. You know, from a, from a camping perspective, in the morning, you can have a lie in because you're not going to hear anything outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I suppose, I mean, ideally, the sort of customers then are people that perhaps traveling a lot, not necessarily that want to set up a big camp when they arrive somewhere, but they're literally going from a long distance A to B and they want to have various stops. It's ideal for a quick B and B. Absolutely. It's also a spare room for your house. You put this on the drive and you can let anybody sleep well, in it. Yeah, it's um, the, uh, I think our, our customer kind of profile is, is a number of different customers, but there are the people who are moving down from something a bit bigger because they say the kids have moved out now and they just want, they love the outdoor life, but they want to, um, they want to have a bit more comfort or people who who just don't want to have massive caravans to pull around they just want to be able to to, to pull something nice and easy and uh, yeah that's and i presume with the weight of it as well it's actually easy for a, a oh, sort of maneuvering it once you've taken it off the uh, tow bar you know even i can do it in that sense okay. fantastic well there you go then folks uh mink campers what an ideal little uh, Bed and breakfast Airbnb, you can have on your driveway, it sounds good. Yep. Uh, but certainly something you can be slipped into and put into the garage as well, kept, absolutely. I guess, yeah, stored out of the way. In the garage, yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 fantastic. Storage is no problem. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next uh, guest now. So thanks very much indeed, Steve. Thank you. Thanks for your time. And uh, back to the studio.